Namaste. Good day to you. Um, uh, today, this morning, I would like to introduce you to a very simple uh, guided meditation, which can be for everyone or anyone. So, wherever you are, uh, it's a good time now because many, many people around the world, most people in the, around the world, are compelled to be at home uh, for some time. We are calling it a global quarantine. But I would like to introduce another um, uh, word, which is like a retreat. A retreat for me means to be with yourself. And uh, amongst all the things, all the activities that we do, and there are many, and especially in our modern world, um, we rarely give enough time to sit quietly by ourselves. And I would like to introduce to you this wonderful uh, opportunity to not just sit uh, alone in this way, but to guide you into your inner being. That means, what you truly are is not merely what we think we are, not merely what we have been brought up to believe we are, but actually, surprisingly, beautifully, we discover a certain layer or level of peace and a natural well-beingness, a joy, a silence. And right here in the depth of our self, a great calmness you will discover. And uh, I want you to know that this that we are going to um, find today, uh, you will see that it is always here. And that is the most wonderful thing about this, is that you are about to discover that which has been always here, it has never left you. Everything else which has come to us in the form of thought, or feelings, or some event, or memory, or our projections, they come and go, and naturally so. I feel it is very important, and so will you come to see, that as you look and be with yourself in the way that you are going to be guided today, you are going to discover something very wonderful. Very wonderful. A wonderful way of being, of being with each other also, but being by yourself. And many people are not used to being by themselves, comfortably, peacefully, happily. Of course, there are many who are able to be with themselves in the most joyful way, and uh, look forward sometime each day to be able to sit with yourself by yourself. That for some people is forms the height of their day, where they clarify their mind and being, and bring all that may come in a day, the noise of all these things that we must remember and do, to bring that back into a quiet clarity and serenity. So, thank you. I am going to ask you for this short exercise, this short guided meditation. We are going to come to a place of deep silence and emptiness. So, not going to be building up knowledge or creating beautiful feelings, beautiful 
uh, images or anything of this sort. I want you to make a wonderful discovery today of what is in the very heart of yourself, of your being. And very simple. So here we go. First, I will ask that in order to come inside into your total aloneness, total aloneness, and this will be a challenge for many people, because perhaps the idea of being totally alone may bring up some discomfort. But you are going to find that that is not really true, that the more deeply we allow our being to simply and mind to fall inside our own being, look what you are going to discover today. So for this, I would uh, encourage you now, right now, to suspend or leave aside all our self-descriptions and all your role for a moment. So each person may have several roles. You may be a, a, a doctor or a teacher, uh, the role of a husband or a wife as mother, um, as friends. All that you are associated with as a role for the moment, Let's just leave that aside, just for that short duration of this exercise. And you are going to see, in fact, after, when you come back and you bring all your roles back into play, they will have a beautiful resonance about them, and you will be able to see that no harm done. Okay, Rather, you will have elevated to a much more purer state, in which you may function with your roles with greater harmony and greater peace. So please cooperate. Leave everything aside, whatever role play, whatever self-descriptions you may have about yourself, all your ideas about life also, just for this short time, as though you are putting them in a cupboard or leaving them outside the door for now. And please do it. It is a wonderful, do not miss this opportunity. Leave everything aside for now, so that you become very empty. Imagine if you, uh, if you saw your body as a container of thoughts, and history, and information, and ideas, and projections, and attachments, and knowledge, and everything. And now, for a short period, just for a few moments, you are asked just to empty everything out, every everything out, all the thoughts, all the feelings, all of that. Just leave them aside for the moment. Beautiful. And as you are doing this, look what is happening. Actually, you are feeling more light, more spacious. Like this, just go along with this. Empty, empty. Some fear might come in the mind. We expect that when you are trying anything new, some fear may come. But it is nothing at all. You are not losing everything. It is not being thrown away. You are just clarifying yourself, just in the same way sometimes. Each time you go to sleep in the night, you go to bed, your mind is completely absorbed into sleep. And you are totally empty. And in this way, you can relax, replenish. Your health becomes uh, uh, lifted up. Your system regulated. It is a wonderful, necessary function in life. So in the same way, I am going to ask you to do this consciously. Just leave everything as though you are asleep, but awake, conscious. So everything out. Leave everything aside. Now that you are experiencing this, you will notice that there is a lightness of being. 
perhaps not what you expected. Just allowed it to be. How much more can you become empty? Any thought, any any favorite ideas, simply just allow them to uh, be swept aside. We don't have to be too meticulous about that. Just your attitude already is a great progress. You are leaving everything aside. Empty. 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 Now look at this now, that in this great space of emptiness, you are fully here, aren't you? If every thought or feeling or memory or projection, anything that has been stored in the mind, all the habits were to be removed, you will find that yourself, your real being, cannot be removed. And is this not a wonderful uh, discovering? You are here. You are here. But you are not a story or a history. You can perceive and remember history, ideas, feelings, memory, desires, all these things, they come and go in the space of your awareness, very naturally. There is an unending traffic, it seems, for many of us, of sensations coming and going, coming and going. But now be aware of that which is not coming and going. And this is the place from which what is coming and going is observed. It is as though all of life is like a sky with clouds just floating by. That's fine. You are like the sky itself, still, serene, unchanging, unaffected. Feel that peace. You are discovering something. You are not creating. Not creating, not imagining, simply being aware of what is natural and effortless in yourself. Look at that. It simply is. Now, from time to time, you may experience thoughts, memories, some idea, some jerky movement may arise inside your your space, your inner space, but it is okay. Even if there is some reaction to them, you are aware of that reaction. So both action, reaction, interaction, silence, all of that you are perceiving. But you yourself, you are not the traffic that is moving by. Now, by being aware of this, <clears throat> feel the natural stillness and peace. Give some space to become familiar with this. This peace is here always. This space is here always. It is never of itself going to turn into some ugly state. It is always here. Whatever is changeful, erratic or dynamic, 
And these are waves that come from the mind as feelings and thoughts. And they, we are, they are relating to you, or you relate to them, when you feel you are being personal, or you are a person. But right now, you are in a higher place, or you may even say a deeper place, where you are not attached to anything. And there is no need to fight with any anything that appears in you. Simply, it is noticed. But don't be carried away by that. In the past, it has been very easy, almost an, a reflex, to go drifting off with the thought flow. But now, simply be aware of that. And stay as you are. Staying as you are means simply paying attention to your natural silence and being. And notice that you are not in a state of waiting. You are not waiting for something to happen. You are resting inside your own being. You may have heard an expression like, at one with yourself, at peace with yourself. Notice also that you are you can be aware of your body. The senses are still functioning, but you're in a state of real inner silence and quietude, of serenity and deep contentment. Nothing worries you. This, I will not give it any lofty name. We can call it simply that which is. And this very natural state is the unchanging reality inside everyone and every living being. But we only become aware of it when we are guided initially to pay some attention to pull the attention back away from its tendency to go out and connect with things, and allow it simply to acknowledge, to discover, and to recognise this inner peace. Notice also that there is no categorization in this piece. You are simply at one with your being. And it cannot be limited by such categorizations as male or female, or any religious differences such as Catholic or Hindu or Muslim or Buddhist, none of these things matter here. This is a very pure, pure state of being. There is no propaganda about it. 
It is beyond conditioning. Silent, spacious, empty, still. And you are always here. This cannot exist without you, because you are experiencing and perceiving this. It is not different than you, or apart from what you are. And notice also how wonderfully harmonious and silent some of you may find that the words themselves are not landing anywhere. It is as though they are melting in this infinite spaciousness. I want to remind you also, that you are far beyond any stage of sickness or imbalance, because here you are in your perfect natural state. It is not a belief. It is directly experienced, and immediately and effortlessly known. You are not in a stage of becoming. but rather pure being. Also, you are quite aware that you are here. You are not in a state of hypnosis. Here, there is nothing that you need to be or become. You simply are. Marinate in this seeing. It is quite natural that you are experiencing a state of lightness of being, a deep state of peace, a natural joyfulness may happen also, and you know intuitively that you are well. This that you are aware of is who you are beyond even time. People all over the world who are <coughs> members of one religion or another or some practice for self-discovery, they are also seeking this natural state that you are experiencing. Many of them, they know it. And they 
refer to or relate to that as their God nature. When we speak of truth, or real life, or God, or pure consciousness, when we are searching for truth, for God, in an authentic and earnest way, our success in searching brings you here. And no joy in the outer world, no joy that comes through the senses and the mind, can compare with this. Actually, there is not you and this. You are this, in the highest sense. In life, daily life, It is as though each one has developed a persona, like a kind of uh, an identity, I call it a sort of mask, a living mask, that is also comes from this, in which we function primarily through our roles in life. And that is fine, because God made it like this also. We have families and friends and jobs and duties, We have the sense of responsibility and loyalty. We love our country, we love our people, Uh, we identify, and so on. That may continue. And in fact, now that you have discovered, or are discovering, your deeper nature, you will see that all that happens in your daily life, your dynamic life, will feel as though there's everything in your life is sitting inside a field of grace. You will not feel as fearful as you used to feel. You will not be worried. A new confidence is emerging inside your being. That helps you to meet life with more openness and trust. Not naivety, but a developing and emerging wisdom is arising in you. So, I would encourage you to sit with this whenever you can. Each day, give 10 minutes to sit in this way. Or you may again play this meditation and follow along. Each time you listen, you will find that you are able more to confirm the mind energy, the, the, that psychological or restlessness that often comes inside the mind, will gradually dissipate, the more you stay with this. And I want to tell you something wonderful. By coming to this recognition and direct experience, you will find, particularly those of you who feel drawn to continue to be 
awake in the silence, to bring your mind into the silence, you'll find that every aspect of your expression in daily life will be blessed automatically. But be patient. Be kind with yourself and with others. And let it blossom. Let the flower of consciousness open in its natural way. Don't rush. If you have been following so far, you are already reaping the fruits of your stillness. So this is a tree that bears fruit immediately, meaning the fruit of peace, and happiness and joy. This silence and stillness, do not mistake this for some kind of apathy or laziness. Quite the contrary. It saves you from wasting energy in useless pursuits. It harmonizes the mind and makes you more confident, more presence. Presence means that whoever meets you will automatically feel the vibration of your silence and your peace and your strength not a weakness. Many of you will feel not only a lightness in you, but a joy arising very naturally, but it is not about something, it is not a joy that comes from any event. This is the joy of yourself. This is your natural happiness. And it will continue expanding into the bliss of being. I have to tell you something. Rare is it that human beings turn their attention inward in this way and discover what you are discovering right now. And this is simply due to bad habits and also not being aware that this was possible before. I want to reassure you that all that you need to do, you will find it happens much more graciously, more smoothly, more harmoniously, as you pay attention and honour your own self-discovering. This peace, this joy, is pervaded and permeating all your being. If you allow it, the more you love it, recognise it, the more you will find that your life is permeated with this joy. And it is contagious in the most beautiful way. Beautiful way. But initially, sometimes some rebelliousness will come from the mind, from our bad habits. Doubts will come, fear will come. I often say to my students, when they first come, 
and they begin to feel the infiniteness, the joy, and the, the deep peace. They feel very happy. I say to them, don't just joyride. Be quiet. Be one with this. Know that this is beyond belief. This is direct experience. But because this is taking place in you, a storm is coming. And this storm is the storm of ego. The storm of ego is going to come to crush what you have discovered, to bring fear in you, to to make you feel that you are making a mistake, to bring in states of confusion. And some of you may give in to that and run away and feel, No, I must not do this anymore. But I want to encourage you. This exercise, this meditation, you may call it, comes from the very core of yourself. It comes from the God place in you. And this tendency to run comes from the negativity, the, to- the toxicness that we have picked up in life. That is going to come up as though it wants to ruin your Garden of Eden inside your heart. I am telling you ahead of time that all beings who awakened to their true nature experiences these types of resistance, this type of aggression from the mind, and they were shocked by that. But they recovered, and they recognized, yes, we were told that this will come, because in life there will always be a display of contrast. So, my dear ones, I encourage you, and I encourage you that God's grace is with you. You are setting out on a journey of self-discovery. This is the most important journey you will make. And you don't have to take an aeroplane. You don't have to take a train, or a car, or a bicycle, or roller skates. You don't have to walk to be here. Because wherever you go, wherever you are, this remains your perfect, still, unchanging nature. I bless you, that you will be totally successful at sitting with this, sitting with yourself. It is a great thing to be able to sit with your own company. Thereafter, when you have to sit with others, you will be a light unto them also. Be at peace. A human being is only fully alive when they discover the peace, when they are at peace with themselves, when they are happy inside their heart, when they are considerate of others, respectful of others. Be at peace with yourself and with God. Because each and every one of you is important in the eyes of God. You are beautiful and perfect inside your true heart. One day, if not today, you will discover this so powerfully, that sorrows will be no more for you. 
or at least if they come, they will be a passing phenomenon, momentary. Thank you. God bless you. For those of you who have enjoyed and have come inside to this wonderful centre of being, continue as much as you like to sit, to sit in the radiance of your own inmost being. Yes. And notice there is really no fear here. There was never any real fear in the core of your being. Your true self and nature is without fear. Be kind uh, towards everyone without forcing this. Notice that your heart is naturally kind and peaceful and happy. Whoever you are, wherever you may be, God bless you, bless you, bless you. Thank you for your attention, for your presence and being.